Hello, and welcome to part 5, Basic Conjugates and the Left Side Commutator. In the last video, uh, we learned the Basic Commutator, and you've taken time to master it, which is why you're watching this part. Uh, if you're not uh, comfortable with the Basic Commutator yet, or if you didn't watch part 4, go ahead and click here to go back. Uh, this commutator is extremely important and it, because it's the basis of the method that we're going to be using for solving our corner pieces. Um, and we'll use this commutator uh, every time we solve the cube. And in most cases, we'll use it more than once. Uh, the commutator, as I mentioned earlier, is a corner commutator. Uh, and that's different than an edge commutator or even an orientation commutator. Uh, so there are uh, commutators out there for solving edge pieces and then there's also uh, commutators out there uh, just for solving orientation problems so if you had a, a situation like this uh, there's a specific commutator just for that uh, I'm not going to teach you those kinds of commutators uh, edges and orientation uh, simply because you don't have to know them if you follow the rest of this method uh, so one less thing for you to learn the only thing you'll need to know is the basic commutator which you already know just those eight moves and that will work every time you solve the cube okay um, so let's take a quick review of what's happening with our commutator uh, starting with this basic starting position. As I mentioned, we'll hold the cube like this with red on the left, white on top, and blue here on the right side. Okay? Um, and from this basic starting position, we know that the red, white, and blue piece moves here. And I mentioned in the last video that in order for that to occur, the sticker on top has to match the center. Okay? So this first corner, the sticker on top will always match the center okay um, and there's a little bit more going on than just that um, this third corner which is going to wind up moving here after the red white and blue corner leaves um, in order for that piece to be solved when it reaches this position the blue sticker which belongs here has to be in the front it has to be on the red side okay um, so what about the second corner? I didn't mention that in the last video. Do we need to worry about it? And interestingly, we, we really don't need to think too much about this, blue, this second corner. Um, if we solve corners one and three, then this second corner will automatically be solved. It's just a consequence of a cube theory. Um, it's simply not possible to solve two of the three pieces because that would leave you with just one unsolved corner and that's not possible um, so let's talk a little bit more about this third corner because this one is extremely important in this case you know using our basic starting position here this corner is our blue orange and white piece okay now you've probably already figured out that the only reason those eight moves are solving these three corners is because the cube looks exactly like this okay and you can probably guess that your cube isn't always going to look exactly like this. Okay, so we're going to go through some other scenarios of what you might see and how to handle that. Okay, uh, so looking at this third corner, um, let's say, for example, that this piece didn't, uh, wasn't actually in this location. Okay, so let's say that this corner piece was actually located here. Okay, so I'll just bring it down just to show you that. Let's say that's the scenario. We've got one unsolved corner on the bottom, and then these two are still where they were before. Okay, from this position, I wouldn't want to perform my commutator. And here's why. We said before that the color that I need here is blue, right? Because this is the blue side. Um, but I don't have blue in the front. I have orange in the front, which means that this orange sticker is going to wind up here, which means that this corner won't be oriented properly once it reaches this point, okay? So if I need blue here, then I need this blue sticker, which is now on the bottom, to be in front. So I would perform what's called a conjugate, and that's simply moving this blue sticker to the front, okay? Now blue is on the red side, which is the front, and now I could perform my commutator. 
Let me show you another scenario. Let's say this corner piece wasn't here. Let's say it was located here. So I move it up. Okay. Once again, I need blue here, the blue sticker here. The blue sticker is not in the front. So in order for me to begin my commutator, I would have to have that blue sticker move to the front like that. Okay, and you're going to find that the color that goes here, and again, it's not always going to be blue. It's just blue because that's what I have in this situation. But the color that goes there could be anywhere on the cube, and you'll have to look for it, and then you'll have to move it to the front side of the cube. Okay, so uh, let, me, uh, let me just show you what would happen if we made a mistake. So uh, the first scenario I showed you was the orange sticker here. So let me show you what would happen if I actually performed my commutator from this position. Okay, um, we said before that I need the blue sticker in front, and that blue sticker is not in front. The blue sticker is on the bottom. Okay, if I do my commutator right now, this orange piece is going to go here. I don't want that, but I do want you to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and perform the commutator. That's one, two, three. The fourth move again is bringing this corner up. And you'll notice that gives me one corner needing orientation and a second corner needing orientation. Okay. Again, this was our starting position and notice that the orange sticker wound up moving there because it was in front. Okay. So that's something that we'll always want to be aware of. Let's go ahead and look at a commutator that would need to be performed on the left side of the cube. So check this out. So here's our commutator. Um, our basic starting position has changed just a little bit. So instead of red, white, and blue, our starting position is going to be green, white, and red. And you don't need to perform this on your cube just yet. But even though we're going to be doing the commutator now on the left side, everything is exactly the same. You'll notice that this first piece here is oriented correctly, right? The white sticker on top matches the white center, okay? It has to in order for us to begin our commutator, okay? This piece is going to rotate here, and this green, orange, and white piece is going to move here. So it's exactly the same as we've been looking at except instead of doing it on the right side, now we're going to do our commutator on the left side. Okay, so let me perform it for you, and then you can take some time to practice it. Same idea, same first three moves. One, two, three. Notice it creates the match. The fourth move is always rotating the unsolved corner over. Five six, seven, and eight. Okay, so it's exactly the same as before. The only difference is that we're doing it now on the left side. Let me go ahead and get back to that basic starting position. We'll look at it one more time. Okay, so from this position, this first corner goes back. We bring it forward. Notice it creates the match when we do that. And now we bring it to the front. Rotate this piece over. I move it forward again. Notice it creates the match. I bring it back. And I finish. Okay? So exactly the same. Uh, at this point, I think it would be a really good idea if you pause the video to give yourself a little bit of time to practice. Your goal will be to be able to perform that commutator on the left side three times in a row. So that's once, that's twice, and as you might remember from before, if you do it twice it takes you to your basic starting position, and then one more time will solve the cube. Right? It brings it back to its original starting position. So go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and work on that. Uh, actually, let me pull it for you just one more time. You're probably going to need to arrange your cube in this scenario first. Okay, and if, like I said earlier, if you need to pop out a piece and rotate the corners around, that's fine. Whatever you need to do to get your cube looking exactly like this one.
Okay, so take some time, practice that, and then come on back. Okay, let's uh, continue on. You have been practicing your left side commutator. What I want you to do now is to hold your cube with orange in the front, okay? And let's go ahead and do that commutator now on the left side. You can go ahead and do it with me. Should look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. Okay, double check, make sure your cube looks like that. And then go ahead and turn it around so that you have that red side in front. Okay? Now, this uh, scenario looks kind of similar to our basic starting position, uh, except that the third corner is located back here. Okay? So let me just turn the cube all the way around, make sure yours looks like this one you'll notice that the red, white, and blue piece is exactly the same as it was before. It's still oriented correctly because it matches the center, right? The white sticker on top watches the, matches the white center. And this piece still belongs right here, like that. So the first three moves of our commutator would look exactly the same, okay? And it would solve that first corner. But I don't want to do that yet. Because if you remember, I don't want to just solve one of these three corners. I want to solve all three of them at the same time. So how do I do that? Well, if you remember, not only do we need to think about this first piece, but we need to think about the piece that's going to move to this spot after the red, white, and blue piece comes out of here and moves here. Okay. Well, what piece is going to move here? In this case, it's going to be the blue, white, and yellow. Or, I'm sorry, orange. Blue, white, and orange. Where is that blue, white, and orange? Here it is. Okay. And if you remember, the color that needs to go here is going to be blue. Where is that blue? Here it is. In order for this blue sticker to move to this location, we said that that blue sticker must be located in front. So this is another situation where I, ha I need a conjugate. And a conjugate is simply a setup move. Okay, A move that allows you to arrange the cube or set it up so that you can perform your, com your commutator. So, I take the blue sticker on top, and all I do is bring it to the front. That's it. And now I perform my commutator just like I've been doing all along. One, two, three. Rotate this one over. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have one extra move. We have to undo that conjugate. And now we're done. Let's practice that again, uh, this time with blue in the front. So we're going to do our commutator on the left side again with blue in front. Okay? And you can follow along and double check to make sure your cube looks like this one. Okay? Turn the cube around. We're going to hold it with green in the front. And we have our starting position like this. You'll notice that this green white and red piece, okay, matches the center, right? It's oriented correctly. The white matches the white. And I know that that piece is going to move right here like this. So I have exactly the same situation, but I don't want to do my commutator yet because I don't want to solve just one piece, right? I want to solve all three. So I have to look at the color that belongs here. In this case, I need the red sticker to go here. So just like before, the sticker I need is on top. I need that to be in front. So all I have to do is move this red sticker to the front. Okay? And now I can perform my commutator. One, two, three. Four is rotating this one over. Five, six, seven, eight. And then there's always undoing the conjugate. That's your last move. Okay? Let's look at a couple examples just like this. Um, but let's start with it on the right side, okay? So I'm going to do a uh, right side commutator with orange in the front. You guys, I think, are probably experts at this by now. Go ahead and do that, and then turn the cube all the way around so that you have red in the front, okay? From here, we're going to do a left side commutator now because this green, white, and red piece belongs here. 
It's going to look like that. But I don't want to do it yet because I want to be able to solve all three pieces. And I know by looking at the cube I need green here. Where's that green sticker? Once again it's up on top like we saw before. Where's that green sticker need to be? Well it needs to be in front, which in this case is red. So all I have to do is bring this green sticker down to the front. Now I can perform my commutator to solve all three corners, doing it on the left side. One, two, three. Four is rotating this corner over. Five, six, seven, eight, and then undo the conjugate. Okay? Let's look at that one more time because I want you to be comfortable with this before we move on. Let's go ahead and do that again, this time with blue in the front. So, right side commutator. Okay? Turn the cube around, hold it with green in the front. Okay? Same exact situation we saw just a minute ago, just the colors are different. Green, white, and orange piece belongs here. It's going to look like that. But I don't want to do it yet. I need to look at this sticker and figure out what color belongs there. Well, it's going to be the orange, right? Orange sticker goes there. Where is it? Well, same as before, it's on top. Before I do my commutator, I have to do the conjugate, which is bringing that piece down. Okay, conjugate again is just a setup move. Now my cube is set up and I can perform my commutator to solve all three corners. One, two, three. Four is rotating this one over. Five, six, seven, eight. That finishes the commutator. And then one last move to undo the conjugate. Okay? If you want, take a few minutes, go back, practice a few more of those. Everything that we do in the next video will be building on this. And once you feel you're ready to move on, go ahead and click here for part six. Thanks.